Hello, everyone. I'm Tracy, and today we're going to be going into the uh, horrible floods that have recently hit Spain. Um, before we get started, though, if you haven't subscribed, please do that before you leave and like, comment, and share this video so we can let as many people know what's really going on. So um, the video today is, you know, in a reaction to a lot of the comments that we've been getting. And um, I just uh, a week ago did a video about flooding and it seems to be a global phenomena. It's been going on, um, you know, at least, well, Helene is when we saw the really, really serious flooding going on in North Carolina. Um, but yeah, it's just been like, uh, just really suspicious that these floods are so severe. They come by so fast. And in this case, we're going to see that the areas affected align to smart city development plans. So let me show you the map of what areas of Spain are affected. And the two areas we're going to focus on is Valencia and Malaga. And those are two very popular tourist destinations. You see there's other areas, but the two areas that we've been getting the most um, you know, video and evidence is from those two sections. And then I'm going to show some, some aftermath photos. And uh, some of these areas got up to 20 inches of rain in, is it one? Yeah, in one day. So for this area, it's significant. This is not an area that floods often. And so oftentimes, if an area is not prone to flooding, we see that the city is not built for flooding. And I, I say that because the area I grew up in rained a lot. And sometimes there was like a week of, of rain. But, you know, there's a storm drain on every corner. Uh, I was on the windward side of Oahu. So I, I feel like the planning of the area, for example, I was in the area called Kahalu in Kaneohe. I do feel like it was you know, built for a high level of, of water and, and in ways that will prevent damage such as, such as this that we see. And I'll show a few more. So we see again, uh, cars being destroyed here. And um, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna play some clips that Shane dug up going into some information about Spain. I mean, these floods. Over the past several days, Storm Dana has unleashed devastating flooding across Spain, with conditions continuing to worsen across regions like Valencia, Andalusia, Murcia, and the Balearic Islands. The Spanish government issued red alerts along the Valencia coast and surrounding areas, advising residents to prepare for potential evacuation as Dana's intense rains and high winds threaten safety and infrastructure. Valencia has seen widespread destruction with flooded roads, shut down ports, and extensive damage to rail services. As roads like the A7, CV541, and CV645 remain blocked, isolated towns face significant disruptions. The situation has become so dire that helicopter rescues have been conducted, including one in Alzira, where a truck driver was stranded. Some areas have recorded over 200 liters of rainfall per square meter, overwhelming streets, homes, and vehicles. Valencia's public spaces, including parks, gardens, and cemeteries, have been closed, and maritime traffic at key ports like Valencia and Segunto remains suspended. The Dana storm system has also impacted Andalusia and the Costa del Sol, where over 20,000 lightning strikes lit up the early morning sky above Malaga. The storms temporarily closed Malaga Airport and brought torrential rainfall, adding to the flooding that is already widespread across the region. Schools, universities, and public services across the affected areas are either suspended or operating on limited capacity due to the severe weather. Meteorologists warn that Dana is likely to reach its peak on October 31st, with further rainfall predicted in Valencia, the Balearic Islands, and parts of southern Spain. Authorities are urging residents to avoid unnecessary travel and stay indoors wherever possible, as conditions may continue to deteriorate before the storm finally passes. 
All right, so this is very recent. And today is the 1st of November. So as of yesterday, there were still flash flood warnings. Um, also, there are 161 confirmed deceased and hundreds of others are still missing. And let me play some. Um, this is a 2,000 year old Roman dam that fails. And here's one more. Uh, So I'm going to read some statements that have been coming out of the area. Of Valencia, President Carlos Mazan has declared the floods as unprecedented, an unprecedented situation. So this is very much not normal for this area. And I'll play this. Also, the monetary damage caused by these floods are expected to be the worst in Spanish history. A thousand Spanish troops were deployed to the worst impacted areas. And due to the saturation of the emergency number caused by the high number of incidents being reported, many people took to social media networks to ask for help for themselves or their family. Also, some people are still unaccounted for and it's reported that some residents are still trapped in their homes. And again, the um, Maison administration is already being criticized for the uh, management of the response, meaning it's, it has not been has not been good. And I did get a comment saying that uh, aid has been rejected from some of these areas. All right, and then here's one um, TikTok video. I have no idea why the news is not covering this. Spain has been being destroyed for days now, for days, by floods. And if you've been paying attention, you know that it's not just Spain. It's all over the world. It's just randomly, sporadically flooding. And it's not just flooding in Spain. There's tornadoes like they've never even seen before. So please tell me what's going on with this weather. Notice how this stays the whole time. Right by my head as if there's some kind of source. Did I mention absolutely crazy hail? I mean, it looks like the world's going to hail. Here's an airport that got flooded out. And again, it's flooding all over the world consistently. All right, so again, you saw that there are tornadoes, which is unusual for this area. And in a previous clip, they said that there were thousands of lightning strikes. Storm is, is to be expected, but there was an unusually high amount of lightning in this area. Okay, now 
All right, so there was one year's worth of rain that fell in eight hours. So now I'm gonna go into you know some of the reasons why these areas might have received these horrible floods. Oh, before we get to that, I'll play into Thin Air's um, video on, on Spain. All right, so he's gonna show that there's some sort of, it looks like there's a source that um, precipitation or moisture I believe that orange part is moisture. It's like it's being produced in a specific area. And we've seen this phenomenon happen in the Gulf um, before Milton. And so this is seems to be happening around the time of these suspicious weather events. And soon we're going to go into the um, the smart cities that are planned for these two cities. Okay. And also I have a really detailed video on Hurricane Milton where you can see more aerial views and satellite imagery of how um, it goes into a little bit more of how these storms and the moisture is being produced artificially. And I'll put that video here. And it's one of my most popular videos and I think it's very, very informative. It's helpful to understand, you know, the situation going on here now in Spain. Okay, and now we're gonna go into the smart city plans. And these two cities, Valencia and Malaga are very popular tourist destinations. So similar to Maui, these areas receive, um, I, I believe one area is like 14 million visitors a year and the other one is a little less so very very popular destination similar to the island of tenerife that was burned last year and that is one of the um, islands off the coast of spain that is also um, slated for a smart city now here's an aerial view that i thought was very interesting this is before the flooding and this just really reminds me of lahaina you see like a port here and they say that these densely populated areas are generally low income areas, but it's right here on the Mediterranean. So it looks like, you know, prime real estate. And now this is what it looks like. So a large area now destroyed. And I wouldn't be surprised if they now deem this area um, unbuildable. So they're, they're going to say you can't build back or they're gonna use uh, whatever the Spanish form of eminent domain to acquire this land. That's just a prediction of mine, but you know, time will tell. And both of these cities, let me pull up the smart city. Okay, so this is a plan. This is some information online. Uh, the company that is doing this is called Segatur. And both of these cities, um, Valencia and Malaga, are very high on the, I guess, sustainability goals. So they're like 80% there. And uh, they've made it very clear that this is part of Agenda 2030. In that previous clip, it said, it said Agenda 2030. So we see these keywords, sustainability. Um, I, I believe this word that you're gonna see here in the fourth uh, rectangle is internationalization, which I believe is another way of saying globalization. Uh, smart tourist destinations versus smart city. But um, innovation is also one of those words we see very often with these globalist plans. And here's a Valencia article about Valencia. So just about two years ago, <clears throat> there was a meeting going into the goals of this new uh, redevelopment plan. And here's the one for Malaga. Just around the same time, they had meetings discussing these uh, plans. So, you know, when I see this, it's just, you know, there's no hiding it. They put this information out, you know, years ago. 
and um, these things are happening, you know, all over. And my videos, I try to cover as much of them as I can. All right, and then here's a really interesting image that was caught above Spain before the flood started. And I don't know what that is. I'm not sure how to explain it. It looks like there's one, uh, I don't want to say the C word, but one aerosol injection um, trail right here. Uh, but yeah, this is very, to me, kind of apocalyptic looking cloud formations. And also, Spain is uh, pretty forthcoming on how they do cloud seeding. And yeah, they said that the meteorological agency has said that they are spraying the air with lead dioxide, silver iodide, and diatomite. And silver iodide is the uh, the chemical or the element that they're using to um, adjust the hurricanes. Just make sure I didn't. Oh, okay. So the, the storm is, they called it storm Dana. Dana's not the name of the storm. It's the type of storm that um, these, that they're calling these, you know, unusual storms is also known as the gota fria or cold drop. So again, we're seeing these new terms coming up to describe these unusual weather events. Let me just make sure I got everything. I don't have Shane here, so I'm kind of wing wing some of this. Um, but I think I think. I got, you know, what I wanted to show you all, but the main point is that there are unprecedented flooding going on in these two areas of Spain that have a lot of similarities to the destruction that we saw in Maui. Uh, they're both tourist destinations, they're on the water. Um, it's going to allow for the redevelopment of the new sustainable um, city. And this, you know, makes it very easy or makes it easier for the government to acquire these lands. And, you know, recently it's been very hard to get information about what's happening in the aftermath, especially other countries outside of the US. So I will do our best, I'll do my best to find out um, how the response is, how the government responds to this. And I wouldn't be surprised if they do um, make moves to take the land from the residents of Spain. And um, yeah, I, I think that's going to do it. I apologize. I didn't have uh, as much information as I would have liked, but you know, this just happened. I don't believe the, the media is giving it enough attention. Uh, I don't think a lot of people know what's going on and how severe the situation is in Spain. So I wanted to make sure I got this out to you all as soon as possible. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and like, comment, and share this video. And thank you all for being here. And I will see you all soon. Bye.